There are a lot of lawyers who do community service and work on pro bono cases, but Nicole's work, both as a journalist and as a lawyer, saved the life of an innocent person. Anthony Graves was on death row with two different execution dates, and the state of Texas had decided to kill him. And I'm absolutely certain that he would have been executed if it weren't for Nicole. Nicole was asked in about 2002 by the Innocence Project if she would be willing to have her students take on a role in investigating the facts surrounding the case of Anthony Graves. Nicole and I met under probably the most adverse circumstances lawyers can meet under. Um, I'm pretty sure I can safely say that she didn't trust me, probably didn't think she liked me, and I felt the same way about her. And she is an expert, not only in law, but also in journalism. And she had all these student followers that, you know, learned from her. And I had to deal with all of them and wasn't prepared to believe anything that any of them had to say. The first time I met Nicole, I was on death row. And they told me I had a, a attorney visit. And I come out and I, I watched this lady come down the hall had the serious look on her face, short cut, kind of tall, no nonsense. And so when she came and she sat down there in front of me and uh, she asked me, do I have, is there anything I want to tell them? And I said that uh, basically, I don't want to sit here and try to convince you that I'm innocent. It's that I just want someone to do the case and stay with me because you, you do the case, you come to the conclusion that I'm innocent. And she said to me, well, we've already been working on your case. I was hired as a special prosecutor to prepare the death penalty trial against Anthony Graves. I followed up on all of the things that she said had happened unethically, improperly, unlawfully in the old prosecution of Anthony Graves and learned that everything that Nicole said about what had been done wrong to Anthony was true. I can say that what she's done for Anthony as a person uh, as his mentor, as his guardian angel, as he calls her, has gone way above and beyond the scope of what any lawyer I've ever known has done for a client. And she was ready for the long haul. And it took over eight years for her to finally help me get free. But she stayed those whole eight years. Never once did she ask for a penny. Even today, I couldn't give her anything, which is why I started the endowment scholarship for her. The fact that she's being honored by the law school with this award delights me because I think it's a wonderful example to current UT law students that there's not any one path you have to take. You can do a lot of different things in life and still draw on and make use of your training uh, at the University of Texas School of Law. I would just like to just say, Nicole, Ever since you've been in my life, you know, we, we, we've had a lot of ups and downs together. You know, you were there for me when things were going right. You were there for me when things were going wrong. And I just know that if it hadn't been for you and all your effort, along with Reuben standing beside you, I wouldn't be breathing today. So from my heart to yours, thank you so much for being who you are. And you are so deserving of this award.